Hello everybody. This is the modulating intensity video which covers the week beginning Monday, August 8th and going through the workout on Saturday, August 13th. As we say every week, although CrossFit is constantly varied functional movements at high intensity, high does not mean maximal and it certainly does not mean that you should do high intensity every day that you walk into the gym for every workout. Most regular humans will burn out both physically and mentally, run into a wall, that's not good. So we wanna operate in a way that we'll be able to do this for years and decades. And just like we do variants with things like loading, time domain, rep ranges, all kinds of good stuff, do that with your intensity as well. Have some high intensity days, some moderate intensity days, and even allow yourself some low intensity days. It's all good. If you don't wanna know the upcoming week's workouts, don't watch this video. I'm gonna give you my plan as I look forward to the week, okay? And out of five days that I work out, I generally try to stomp the gas and go high intensity on only two of them. So that's only 40%. And three out of the five are either moderate or I'll have a low intensity day in there. And that allows me to have been doing CrossFit basically nonstop since 2005. So I'd encourage you to find a good balance for yourself as well. As I say every week, no plan survives contact with the enemy. So if I think I'm gonna just crush one of these workouts one day and I don't get great sleep the night before, I'll modify my plan and that's okay, fitness will be achieved. So as I record this, it's Friday morning. Our kids went fishing with their grandfather this morning and we had to bring them fishing starts ridiculously early, I guess, I'm not a fisherman. We had to get up at 3 a.m., get the kids up, drive the kids 30 minutes over to the grandparents' house so they could drive wherever they're gonna go and go fishing. So I've been up since 3 a.m. So the workout that I thought I was going to crush today, I'm not going to crush. Again, no plan survives contact with the enemy. I'll modify things as I have to. All right, getting back to the upcoming week. Ooh, a couple spicy ones in a row. Monday, 135 pounds on the bar for men, 95 for women, three rounds for time, 50 double unders, 10 power cleans, 50 double unders, 10 push press. Three rounds of that, so kind of like a, a dissected grace, if you will, with double unders in there. That can be one that some people can drop the hammer on if they want, overhead's not my friend, so I'll probably modify that in some way, maybe a dumbbell bench press or something, but I'll, I'll try to, depress the accelerator nicely on that. And I think I'm gonna have two high intensity days in a row this week, that's okay. The next day is I'm gonna to try to go for it as well. That's exactly how it's designed. We've done this before. Everyone knows it is just a fireball. And that is 10 rounds on the three minute of 12 calories on the bike for men, eight calories for women on the air bike. Just as quick as you can get those calories, rest the remaining time. You go every three minutes until you've done that 10 times. If you haven't done it before, you're in for a real treat. Pedal the bike as if the devil is chasing you and your life depended on it. And if you had looked at that workout and maybe gone, huh, that's it, or is that going to be enough? If you bring the intensity, it will be enough. So I think that's gonna be my second high intensity day of the week and the rest will be moderate or even low if that's how I feel. Wednesday on is a named workout, Angie, big chipper, big sets of gymnastics. It's also our not for time option and I'll probably take advantage of that and just move it whatever pace I feel like it, make it a casual day, conversational pace. So Angie is for time or not. 100 pull-ups, great way to start the workout. 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups and 100 air squats. That's gonna get it done. Thursday rest day, fantastic day. Friday, probably everyone's favorite day of the week, seven sets of two on the deadlift. Great day, heavy's a relative thing. Whatever feels heavy that day for seven sets of two, that's what I'll lift and I'll probably rest at least three minutes between each one of those doubles, if not four minutes. So three to four minutes is gonna be my rest period to make sure I can actually go heavy on all those doubles, which is why if you respect heavy days, it takes the entire hour to warm up, to do the workout, to take the proper rest periods to cool down. You can't just kind of shove it in before another workout and then you're gonna wonder why you didn't get strong. 
we give heavy days the respect that they deserve at linchpin and the needle moves forward and then on saturday three rounds for time 800 meter run how much fun does that sound like already 20 meters of a front rack walking lunge, 95 pounds in the front rack for men, 65 for women, 15 meter handstand walk, and three rope climbs. I will have to modify a couple things in that workout for the handstand walk. I'll probably do either, um, I might do something like a, a waiter's walk, even though that wasn't one of the options. If I get just feel like doing that, I might do it. I might do the around the box walks as well, which are always spicy. And then I don't have a rope to climb in my garage, so I will substitute some pull-ups for that. And fitness will be achieved, and it'll be great. So that's my plan for the week, but I'm always curious as to what is your plan. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you like the workouts. Hope you do. Thanks for being a part of this wonderful fitness journey. We're all moving forward together. And as I said, as I record this, it's a Friday, so enjoy your weekend.